Hey guys, welcome back to another Pokemon card opening video. And in this video, I'm going to be opening 15 dollar store Sun and Moon base set packs. But the catch with these is that I actually bought them on eBay weighed heavy. Um, so that means that all of these packs should at least contain at a minimum a reverse hollow. But, you know, I can't really guarantee that these are heavy because I don't have a scale that's accurate enough. But, you know, we're just going to open them up see if we can get anything cool we're just gonna start from the top one and move through all 15 and um, see if we can get any cool polls so just start with uh, pack number one number one of 15 <clears throat> these a dollar pack are uh, only three cards so They'll go through pretty quick. I don't exactly know what the um, card trick is, if there is one. I don't know what the if the code or whatever this is means anything, but I have opened dollar packs before and I um, haven't really had any luck with them, but let's just go into it straight ahead. So we have Pick a Peck, Carvana, and a fire energy. So already we're seeing that um, this did not contain a hollow or better. So <clears throat> that's one. One recorded of not being heavy. So let's see if the next one <clears throat> is different. I don't know how easy or how difficult it is to weigh these, but I imagine that it's not too hard. Let's see what we got. A Lolan Meowth, Dupider, and another trash pack with this card. I don't know why they're different. So that's two packs with absolutely nothing. Let's continue, see if this goes nowhere, and if, you know, I guess the either the seller didn't know what he's doing, or I got scammed. Another Meowth, Sandile, and the Energy. So again, that's three in a row all having nothing. Interesting. Let's add back here. So, <clears throat> I was going to actually save some of these, but I guess we're seeing now that they are seem to not be the best. Let me move my camera real quick. Here we have a Snubble. I'm gonna try to open it a bit better. And a Wingle. And a Bulldore. That one didn't even have a... This is so weird. They all have a different uh, cards. I don't know what that means. I mean, uh... I'm just looking at them closer. It's so weird. I didn't know that some of them came with, you know, these red Pokemon League cards. Some of them have these, uh, the series card. It's kind of weird. But that's four packs down with no luck. Again, 
not a uh, even a reverse to be seen. Interesting. Very interesting. Line that up. And uh, you know, I got this on an eBay auction. It was you know, uh, fifteen dollars dollar packs, way too heavy. I think I paid thirty something. As you can see, ooh, okay. Well, that's the first reverse hollow we've been able to pull. Um, you can see a pincer. Is that a rare? Nope, that's an uncommon. Then the okay, card. So, <clears throat> so far, this is the only pack that was actually heavy. And, um, it's kind of a disappointment when you're expecting, you know, that you're getting 15 heavy packs and ends up not being correct. But, see if we can maybe hit something. These last. What, 10 or something? You know, I think I, this is the seventh. Ooh, okay. A holographic. And then the energy. And that. So I guess I can start doing like a. Take the. Um, I'm gonna start taking this card off and taking the back one and putting it to the front for the next few, if I remember. Okay, next one, then Cineroar. I'm glad that, you know, I kind of thought about keeping these and selling them as heavy, but obviously that would have made, that would have been a pretty big disappointment for some people if they purchased this. So, good to just open them. Turn it around and uh, move this to the front. Okay, so we have an Alolan Raticate, Togunamaru, and a Poplio. <laughs> That's interesting. So we got the non reverse Togunamaru. So that's another one that was uh, light. I'm kind of just keeping them all together. <clears throat> so I can remember how many of them were actually heavy. I think two so far out of the eight that I've opened. That's only a quarter. Let's uh, see this next one. Big Malasada. Big Malasada, Stuffle, and another token tomorrow. So it seems like we're getting some of those repeats. Let's go on to the next one. Still have, let's see, five left after this. So. Still a chance that we might get something. Oh, I think I see something in this pack. Let's see. See what it could be. Pink Skull Grunt, Zubat, and a Full Art Lorantis. Okay. Well, actually, a good pull. So, you know, I'm gonna just leave that. Um, I was kind of expecting that I probably wouldn't be getting anything from these seeing as how those first ones are going, but that is pretty neat. I do like that green color. Uh, don't know much about Lorantis as a Pokemon, but um, you see Chlorocyth GX and uh, all those. So at least that one had a nice pull in it. Uh, it's the first time I've gotten something good from a dollar pack. So it's kind of neat. But um, so 
that's one pack that had a actual pull in it that's not just a hollow. So let's see if we can get any better luck. Maybe he did order them in like highest, lowest to highest weight. Maybe these are the highest weight ones we can see. They have seemed to got be gotten uh, a little bit progressively better. Just a little bit. So we can see if uh, any of these last ones give us any luck. Front. And we have a How Trainer, Sand Dial, and a Picky Bank. I think I do have the McDonald's promo of this card, interestingly. Um, it's another non hitter. That one, that Warantis Full Art is kind of just a surprise, really, among all the crap we're getting from these other ones. But maybe we can hit something like that again. Three more packs after this one. Great Ball. Cutie Fly. And a Reverse Hollow Dewpider. So, that one was heavy. <clears throat> then, have the Decidueye. Maybe we can get a Decidueye Full Art. the pup on the front. And you can see. Rare candy, the pup, and a reverse hollow Psyduck. That is kinda cute though. So this one is another heavy. Put that we'll make some more room over here. And um we have at least two packs left. Let's start with the top one, both Solgaleo art. Maybe we can get some thing good from these. I kind of doubt it. Okay. <clears throat> Dark Energy, Growlithe, and. <laughs> Reverse Hollow Passimian. Interesting. So that was another heavy. Put that back there. And one pack left. Hopefully, we can get something great. Let's see. I'm gonna open it off camera. Avoid revealing any shininess. That probably isn't there anyway, because there's probably nothing in here, but we can hope. So, grass type energy. A Spiro and the Psyduck not reverse hollow. So, another light pack. So, um, to summarize, uh, let me just pick up my camera here. Here are all the packs. And, um, you know, maybe I'll put up, like, a little text on the screen right now saying, like, the ratio of what was actually heavy, um, to all the other packs, you know, compared. But I will say that, uh, this. Lorantis full art was pretty cool. Uh, of course, you know, me having purchased all these as heavy, I was, you know, expecting to have a reverse hollow or better in every pack, but that was obviously not the case. So, you know, thank you guys for watching this video, and uh, if you enjoyed it, please leave a like. And, you know, comment or subscribe if you want. And, uh, hope you enjoyed watching me open these packs. And hope you have an awesome day. Bye.